Hi, I'm Kevin Wingy Maynard. Welcome to Celebrating Our Musical Community, a series that features live concerts on WWFM, the Classical Network. This is a special feature that takes you into the mind of musicians as they tell us about the music they play. Today, I talked to pianist Jenny Q. Chai as she describes why she chose to pair a piece by Niels Wiegland with a piece by John Cage on her recent recital at La Poisson Rouge in New York City. Check out what she has to say about it and then enjoy the performance. I wanted to play John Cage's wonderful Widow of 18 Springs and the Niels Wiegland Barcarolle from Life Sketches because they're extremely personal to me. I feel like, well, I, I know Niels for years, maybe almost a decade already by now. And uh, I also knew, I felt like I, I know Cage as a person through him, through Niels. It's the last piece of the cycle. The whole cycle is about, uh, is a, is dedicated to his teacher, his piano teacher, Ivan Mikashov, who was also a close friend with Cage and Feldman at Buffalo University, one of the most important American contemporary pianists. It was written shortly after Ivar passed away. So it was for, uh, to, to have the remembrance of Ivar and at the end, how he is slowly fading away so that high upper register is like this dreamy quality and the lower notes is a little bit like horror. It has this, their prepared notes, which also has a little connection from Cage. And they just, they have this boom, this kind of uh, low sounds that disturbs the dreamy quality. And at a certain point, um, there's this um, Barcarolle-like melody in the, in the middle register and it grows softer and softer, as if it represents the, the energy, the life energy of Ivar. And the dreamy part becomes louder and louder, so they kind of go this way until the person, the energy, gets really covered by this really loud, resonating, dreaming, heavenly sound, but, but which becomes really intense. I've never study with Niels Wiegland because he's a composer and uh, I, I've always been in the piano department, but I, I consider him my major teacher.
Ms. Wigeland, Dr. Wigeland uh, is from Buffalo originally and uh, he, he went back to Buffalo University for his PhD and uh, he didn't even choose a teacher and it was Morton Feldman assigned to him as his major you know, teacher, professor. And uh, he said to me, I remember that time, he, he said he felt like he hit a jackpot. But in the very beginning, he didn't know who Feldman was. <laughs> just a strange guy in a dark room with very bad eyes and very slow. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, he, he had amazing, amazing friendship uh, with Feldman and Cage. And because, you know, well, Feldman and Cage were always together. So Niels was their pianist. He played all of their piano works, toured with them in Europe. Really, it was him who presented Feldman and Cage's music to Germany, to Darmstadt. The Wonderful Widow of 18 Springs by John Cage is about a girl, a beautiful girl named Isabel, who uh, was going to become a nun and while well, she, she was 18 years old. That's why she became a widow. Yes, uh, married to Jesus. And uh, it's set by the text, the, the lyrics is set by um, in, the, in the Finnegan's Wake by James Joyce. And it captures this kind of abstract beauty, that kind of anxiety within the calmness as a whole. Like so. 